Hello. We're going to be doing some handwriting warm-up doodle lines together. So for this activity, all you really need is a piece of paper, preferably with lines, and some kind of writing utensil. Ideally, a pencil. My pencil that I have here isn't very sharp, but that's okay for this. I'm going to be focused more on um, keeping my pencil in contact with the paper and trying to make an even smooth line. So for this first one, make U curves and rainbow curves that fit in the small letter space. You'll notice that I did my small letters above where I wrote handwriting warm up doodle line. I used each writing space line as if it was only, or if it was twice what it actually usually is. Usually this paper is used to write our letters like this. So that the tall letters fit just perfectly between the two blue lines and our small letters are half as tall. You can continue your U curves and your rainbow curves all the way to the end of that line. Try to make them even as you can and keep your pencil on the paper as best you can for as long as you can. Of course, it is okay to pick up as you need to. Notice that I tried to make them as even as I could. I took my time, I wasn't rushing. For the sake of this, using this paper, I'm gonna skip a line. My next one you see, I started off really slow, taking my time, trying to touch the baseline, go to about where the middle would be, touch the baseline, touch about where the top of the small letter space would be, and I'm trying to keep going really evenly. But I could just make this really quick and finish it off. <laughs> but it doesn't look so neat anymore. We see that we have lines, squiggles going below, they're much wider, they're not at all consistent. So we really want to take our time and focus on making our marks right where we want to, them to be. Another thing is we want to make sure that the movement is coming from our fingers. We're not trying to move our whole arm when we're writing these, especially for small strokes like this. For the next one, let's do zigzag lines. These ones are in the small letter space. Ooh, some of mine are a little taller than others. I'm trying my best to make them come up to the same height. I've got my, my hand stabilized against the table. It's not up in the air trying, oh gosh, this is hard, to write without, sorry, write without a stable surface. So um, there's that next one. Try to make sure that yours is going evenly like I did here at the beginning. For your next one, let's do X's dot, X dot. This one, we're, again, we're trying to make them the small letter size. If we were to go faster, I could have them faster, and they're still X's and dots. But that's not the point of this activity. Right now, I'm really focused on making them be just the right size, touch at the baseline, but not go below. So I would like for you to try your best to do the same. Trying to make my dot right about in the middle of the space, not up high, not way down low. I'm really trying to make it right in the middle like that one. My X's, I'm trying not to have them floating, trying not to have them going below the baseline. We want them to start at the top of the small letter space and slide touch the baseline, slide touch the baseline. For the next row, let's do some, some tricky we're gonna do the C curves. So we'll do magic C, and then it comes down. Next one, magic C, but they're all connected, kind of like ocean waves. We'll try to make them as evenly as we can. I'm gonna scoot my wrist over. That one was a little smaller. I'm still taking my time, doing my very best. Some are gonna be better than others, but as long as we're trying and trying our best, that's all we ask. All right, that's it for our handwriting warm up for today. Let's do some beautiful handwriting.